Great. I have never tasted these, but uh, I don't know if they're my favorite, but I'm more excited <laughs> about these than I have anything so far. Yeah. Jump cut. <laughs> If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're celebrating the whiskey that makes the music taste better. This is Rand, you may remember him from my last video. He is here, here, still here from Phoenix, I haven't kicked him out yet. Soon. Technically not Phoenix, me. right? Where do you live technically? Glendale. But Glendale, you know. what's what's the street? What's the address? Yeah, you know, I don't know <laughs> about that. I don't remember. So in the last video, we did a, a little mishmash of uh, mini bottles that we uh, we found at Total Wine. And uh, it was just kind of like, that's weird. Let's try that. And we, we had uh, peaks and valleys. There was some valleys for sure. Ups maybe, and downs. Yeah. Maybe some plateaus. And it, it started with a blended Isla which I'd never had before. I'd never heard of before, and it, it was not so bad. No, it was survivable. And then a, a roasted pe a roasted pecan, which was really more of a butterscotch. Yeah. Um, you can check it out. There's a link somewhere. and um, Or a, a card popping up. But yeah. Um, the surprise hit was the Moonshine. We finished with a Moonshine. It was 100 proof. The Mob Museum yeah. Moonshine from Las Vegas. And it was really good even with a little bit of you know we, we opened up uh some of the oils with some water on the end and it was all just it was lovely yeah and i honestly expected it to be horrible yep our loser for that particular round well you'll have to watch the video but uh <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so this video we're looking forward to because it's all bourbons <laughs> it's all bourbons well well let me rephrase it it's it's either bourbons or it's well it's rice yeah. But it's all whiskey. It's all, it's all like whiskey. It's all whiskey. There's no no Jolly Rancher flavor stuff. There's no weird stuff. This is, you know, sound. I feel like this is going to come in a plastic bottle. Hush, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, numero one. You can't get much more Kentucky than this 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 title. Colonel Lee, I mean, Kentucky. You could change that to general, but... Then no. I wouldn't drink it. Yeah, and it's straight bourbon whiskey. It is 40% alcohol or 80 proof. And I don't even know if I'd like the idea of drinking Colonel Lee. I have to say, my new Glen Cairns are working lovely. Are they? I feel like you stiffed me. Hardcore. What? What are you talking about? Hardcore stiff. Uh, okay, fine. Hardcore stiffage there, sir. There you, go. you know what? We rinsed them out. Let's switch them. There you go. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to. <laughs> Quit your, stop your wind. <laughs> Jeez. I'm, let the guy stay here. Don't, don't tell his wife about things. <laughs> Wait, what things? Yeah. You didn't tell me about them either. Yeah, so. so hey. Is that why I was so sore this morning? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to so monetization. Yeah, right. <laughs> Before we get started, uh, obviously, you want to see any more reviews. If you have any suggestions, things I should review, hit me up in the comments. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. You know what to do, uh, so you'll be notified. But it, really, I, I would love to know what you think I should try. Now, I don't have the, the hugest budget in the world, so don't throw me any like hundred dollar bottles of stuff. But that's the wonderful thing about minis. My first review was with Sean Flume. He's my usual partner in crime with this. And we did a flight of minis, flight of airplanes, little, little bottles. Um, and I'm enjoying the minis because it allows us the chance to try them without getting the whole big bottle and regretting it. Doc, yeah, could you imagine if we got a big bottle of the, oh, the Raven, yeah, Raven Lace. <laughs> I, I would, I would throw it at. Yeah. Well, sir. Welcome into my home. Salute. Hey, it smells like a 
Yeah, I hate to be generic, but it smells like a bourbon. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you you get... It smells like every other Jack Daniels that doesn't have something added to it. It's actually, it's it's actually a little more one, one note than Jack Daniels. Yeah, you know, you're right. It, there's no... On the nose, anyway, it's not assertive. It's not... Uh, uh, there's no burn. I don't even smell really that many baking spices. Where'd you put the bottle? Oh, you put it up I put there. it up there, buddy. Don't worry, it's in shot. It's in shot. Well, I don't care. That's what we say in the business. They can't see that in it. it. Actually, yeah, you can't really see it. Unfortunately, if I don't empty the I just the wanted bottle, to analyze. Really, I wanted to analyze the label because I, I... You're I, welcome to grab it. I feel like the label speaks more than the whiskey. This is a loose, loose formatted show, you know. <laughs> yeah. I really feel like the label speaks more than whiskey. Do you get... Do you get iodine off of this? Maybe a little bit. Definitely not as bad as the. Uh, well, obviously not as bad as a blend as a blended Isla, but I, yeah. I get, I don't, I get something I'm not associating with bourbon usually with Kentucky bourbon. Well, that's probably a plastic from the bottle here. Fair enough. Looks like they. By have the way, yeah. General Custer in front of a plantation. Nice. And this stuff's called... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Let's not abuse... Neglect is abuse. I don't want to abuse my alcohol. There's a little bit left here. <laughs> that I just painted over the sides of the Glen Cairns. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, anyway. you're drunk already. Yeah, here you go, sir. Um, I'm getting... I, I get some sweet citrus. I can't narrow it down. Sometimes it's real prevalent when you smell something. You're like, oh, that's... Orange peel, that's like apricot, a, that's this, that's that. I was going to say, it's like a light apricot for me. But not not like a raw apricot that you just eat. No, no, it's very light. It's very light. It's like it's like you're smelling an apricot that's like really fragrant, but like over there. Ap it's not apricot jelly. No. I get a little musky, mustiness almost as, as if you're smelling like a raw apricot. But I'll... That's the only problem with minis is they don't have a lot of room to tell you what they want to tell you with their little, you know, motto or mission statement or blurb. All I know is uh, Raven's Lace, even the mini lied. Whoa. It said whiskey. <laughs> Watch the video, you'll see. All right, shall we Shall we dive in? I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah. we got to dive in eventually. It, it, uh, yeah, you know, we can smell it until it evaporates. Yeah, pull <clears throat> that. Sorry. It's okay. I'm doing acoustics for the show with the cabinets down here. So. Yeah. It's, uh, it's mm. a mild oil. It's a mild burn. It seemed, it's just a, like, this is a, I think this would be a good shot whiskey. Yeah. You certainly wouldn't want to. I'd rather shoot Jack. I wouldn't want to waste this. I wouldn't want to use this to mix, like, Cosmopolitan or something. No. I'd ra I would really rather shoot Jack, but that's what I like to. Well, what do I mean is, shoot Jack. what I mean is that <laughs> it, if you had this, you'd be like, I'm just gonna do a shot of this. This is yeah, yeah. No, you're not doing anything else with this. This isn't anything super special or, or complicated, um, which is probably why it was ninety nine cents probably for, for the mini at total one. Um, they put. I, I get the feeling that that it's a blend of different bourbons. Really? You yeah. Feel like they, a oh, they do there. That. Yeah. It just doesn't seem like a lot of love went into it. No, definitely not. But I don't know about a blend. Maybe like the the factory sleep floor sweepings. <laughs> you know, this they, they squeeze out the liquid from the <laughs> from the barrels. They just they run the barrels through a juicer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to just shoot this? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking just shoot this one. All right. And by all means, throw in the comments if you had, you know, if you're familiar with the Colonel Lee Kentucky bourbon and you have different thoughts or, you know, you had the same experience. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right here. I'm looking for a bottle that doesn't exist. That's one right here. Yeah. No. You're looking for this bottle. That, that bottle right there? There you go. It's back. It's back where it belongs. Okay. Oh, nope. It's going to eat the... Oh, almost got eaten by I forgot to say, yeah, you got to push back a little bit. All right. So, um, let's see. You got a good toast? Hmm. <clears throat> Got to, do, got to do a toast for you, a shot. Oh, uh, let me think here. Oh, you know, I haven't done really any good toast in a long time. Ah, uh, let's think about this. While he's thinking, 
I just want to thank you for watching. Yeah. Seriously. And um, by all means, by all means, if you have any suggestions of what I should review, I would love, I, I love to learn. I'm willing to try stuff that maybe I don't like because that's how I learn. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't always get the chance to review whiskeys with my, uh, my whiskey son, Sean Flume, who's much more knowledgeable than I am. And so I, I can't rely on, on that. I, I shouldn't rely on his knowledge to make my own knowledge greater. So by all means, please comment. Let me know what you, what's your favorite whiskey? What do you like to drink? Or what, what surprised you? What do you got for a toast? If this doesn't kill you, nothing will. Nothing will. No, actually, no, this isn't really that bad. No, it's not. It's really bad. That's the problem, is it's not much of anything. <clears throat> yeah, it really is. That's a shooting whiskey. Bourbon. That is a shooting whiskey. Like, if, if you're at the bar, say, give me your, give me your, just give me a shot of whiskey, cheap whiskey. That'd be well, it. Well, that's a well whiskey. Yeah, that's a well whiskey. All right, so we switch? We might make a whiskey sour out of it. <clears throat> So now we're moving on to one that... Oh, it, my favorite. It piqued both of our interests strictly because of the name. Because the manufacturer is either being tongue-in-cheek or very, very honest. Yeah. It's two stars. <laughs> whiskey. Two-star whiskey. We don't think they have very much pride in their product. It's Kentucky Straight. It's 43% alcohol by volume. 86 proof. That's... Kind of a weird amount. Yeah, that is weird. Um, oddly specific. Now, this is Jefferson County, Louisville, Kentucky. So, Isn't that kind of a joke there with the specific? Well, I don't know, but the, I mean, like, that's kind of... You kind of need to know what you're doing if you're going to say you're from Louisville, Kentucky. It's plastic. Yeah. Plastic bottle. Plastic but, bottle. But, but compared to the store in a glass bottle. Though. But compared to that pl plastic, this is a little thicker plastic, so maybe there's hope. Two stars. See, I wonder if the glass bottle is going to taste different because I was always told by my grandfather, who was a raging alcoholic, <laughs> um, that plastic always absorbed into the flavor of the drink. Um, I definitely feel like glass is going to change it, but I don't know why. I mean, I don't know how it's going to change it. No, it's like the the um, <clears throat> the off gassings from the plastic kind of enter into the drink itself. Yeah, well, if we had done this after the enchiladas last night, we definitely would be off. Oh, yes, right? <laughs> well, right. sir. I mean, this doesn't make me gas, but... Well, you know, there was a lot of onions in tonight's dinner. Oh, hush. It was beautiful. It was fried rice with lovely bits and all sorts of yummy stuff. It was the stuff I already made. It had a lot of onions. Yes. My 12-year-old daughter is a burgeoning chef. Unfortunately, she also cleans like a chef. Chefs don't do dishes. That is true. Yes. Shall we? Good shot. Mm. Ooh. Now that's different. Yeah. It's... I would love... It's weird. Uh, I almost said licorice, but not. Uh, well, no. It, it, I think you're right. There's a little bit of anise in there. Yeah. I also get... Like it, he's, he's it, always I get the feeling... It almost smells like it was finished in a sherry cask. A Maybe. Little, a little bit of the sweet wine. You know, on a Kentucky bourbon, you don't hear that, really. So I'm probably wrong. But there's definitely some sort of fruit in there. Um, red currants? Red grapes? Mm, no. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't smell like grapes. No, what is Plum? that? Plum? Yes. Thank you. Plum. I, my nose is not nearly as sophisticated as other people's, so good job on that. Huh. Yes, it's a plum. It's a red plum. It's a sweet plum. It's <clears> the <throat> kind of plum that pulls off the pit. Yeah. Not the kind of... Cling. That's exactly I, what it is. I hate the stone cling. Oh, I hate those. Do you get any of the baking spices? I don't get a lot of baking spices out of this. No. After I hit the plum, it goes straight to like that alcohol burn in my sinuses. Right. I get a little vanilla, I think. Yeah, there's a little vanilla in there. Yep. I opened my mouth like you told me to. Yeah. I'm, I'm a novice, guys. Yeah. I'm slightly less of a novice. A novice, novice. <laughs> <laughs> it, we've had a few whiskeys tonight. Um, 
Or as gamers might call me a noob. Do you know the history of the word pwn? Yeah, Diablo 2. It was mis- supposed to be owned. It was and a typo. The P is right by the O on the yes. keyboard. So the person got pwned. And then for whatever reason, even though when Diablo 2 was a thing, internet memes were like not, yeah. and they weren't really traveling, that just somehow took off like yep. wildfire. It took off. I was playing Diablo 2 when that, when that started. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody on Diablo 2 during uh, Player Killer was like, you got pwned! I'm like, what is this pwned? I got pwned? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what do you mean you got pwned? What? The the one I always liked was um, how the Leroy Jenkins thing was faked. Did you know you know it was faked, right? I'm pretty sure it was faked. No, I mean, no, they, they came out. The guy said, okay. like, oh yeah, no, we faked it. We, it was a total joke. I was going to say, there's no way that a dude would do a party wipe like that in... An MMO because it's still hilarious. Though. His player, his, his his team would be like, uh, "Yeah, we're you're done." We're, they would have beat him in, if he was in the same room. They would have beat him. Yeah, <laughs> and if they were not in the same room, they would have just disowned him, and uh, he would have had to find another party. And his face was all over social media, going Leroy Jenkins, so, Leroy Jenkins. So we're getting back to our job. New. Account. Yes. Which... Getting back to our job here. Yeah. So we've got anise. We've got red plum. Like a ripe red plum, though. Yeah. A sweet red plum. Because red because plums can be a little vanilla. Tart. Yeah, a little vanilla. Um, I don't get any buttery cookiness. No. Generally, that's more of a scotch thing in my experience. But what do I know? Nothing. Just ask my wife and kid. So Is shall we double dive... oak? Really well, yeah, oak-y? you're gonna get some oak, but I mean, it's always gonna have oak from the yeah. barrel. Yeah, unfortunately, but I can like notice. It. We would last few I haven't noticed. It. We would have a little more information if we had the big bottle. Yeah, of course. It would say something like, you know, finished in American oak or white oak or whatever. But you know what? This is funner because we funner. don't know. It was we, abandoned. Tell yeah, funner. Anyway, shall we dive in, sir? Let's let's take a sip. Okay, just enough burn to wake you to let you know. That, hey, you know this is this is happening. Yeah, there's almost almost no burn. Almost. Uh, the plums there, the sweet. Very smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah, this is definitely what I would call a Tuesday night whiskey. <clears throat> I wouldn't call it flavorful, though. Uh, little m- more so than the Colonel Lee. Oh, yeah. Well, even the Colonel Lee is. I would not little... shoot this. No. It would be a waste to shoot this, I think. Um, yeah, which one is this again? <laughs> this is the uh, two stars. I, yeah. I, I definitely give it more than two stars. I would say so. I'd say at least three and a half. Yeah. I'm I mean, f- that comes from a guy who drinks Jack Daniels. I'm curious. i dip a little bit of water in there. You think so? A little water? Oh, yeah. Anytime you kind of run out of notes, it's always a good one, especially if, if you it's got some oil. I don't really notice a whole lot of oil on this, though. Not like the last few. All right. You see those legs? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. With a little water, I actually now... Came a little bit more earthy. A little earthy. Do you get a little bit of, like toffee or or the buttery butteriness? Part of the reason why I go into these things blind is I don't want to. I don't want to per, like preload my mind with superlatives. Yeah, I don't want to search for the flavor that we expect. We yeah. just want to know the flavors that we encounter. Because I mean, anybody can Google you know what someone else reviews. It this. smells different now too with a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Those those water soluble oils, they open up and suddenly it's a whole different drink. It's yeah, not musty, but earthy. And I gotta say, it's not as sweet, but it's more flavorful. I'm getting more burn though. Yeah, absolutely. Which more is burn. weird. Usually with water, you would think it would cut look, the burn. Yeah, you think so? Dilute it, thin it out. But, um, I think what it does, I think it like. Kind of pulls the oils away from the alcohol, mm-hmm. so you're getting more of what be the alcohol. Do you remember the price point on this? It was pretty reasonable, right? Oh yeah, it was very reasonable. Yeah. It came in like an actual bottle came in a glass bottle, so I bet it would taste even better than this. I, I dare say I would buy a, a, a full size 750 milliliter of, of two stars, enjoy it on the rocks. Yeah, I think we almost did buy a full size one, and then well, we were like, let's do minis. I was like, all right, let's when do you don't know what you want, yes. Um, 
that's the nice thing about Total Wine. And I, I seriously, I, I, if, if anybody has any pull with Total Wine, I would love them to sponsor my uh, whiskey review videos because I that's where I shop for whiskeys. I could vouch for that when mm. shopping for all of these. Unless I'm doing a review at a bar. That's different. Ooh, interesting. I just, now it's, suddenly it was, it, it turned into like a velvety smooth thing. Yeah. On the top of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's very velvety smooth. Oh, wait. And that's like a bigger gulp and there's the burn. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You ruined it. You ruined it. Um, okay, sir. I think we're going to take a quick little jump cut, a little, little break here uh, while we uh, rinse glasses and get, get them ready. Walk, walk about. We'll be right back. Get them ready for my favorites. Great. I, I've never tasted these, but uh, I don't know if they're my favorite, but I'm more excited <laughs> about these than I have anything so far. Yeah. Jump cut. <laughs> We're back. First, we're going to say hi to his wife, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi. We had a Canadian whiskey. You it, want to, it wasn't bad. You want to come on camera? No, but thank <laughs> you. I appreciate that. We're about to crack open the whistle pig. Yes, so we're doing a whistle pig. We're, we're, we're moving over to rye. The last two on this little uh, bourbon battle. They're going to be uh, rye whiskeys. I'm really excited about this one. Yep. I think it's going to be the best out of the bunch. It's a 10-year blended rye whiskey. It's 50% alcohol, so 100. this is the same proof as the moonshine yeah. in the last video. And it looks like it's got a wood cork, and the bottle's oh. very fancy. It's When's the last time you saw a mini with a wood cork? I mean, come on. we're Yeah, we're excited. Um, Hand-bottled on the Whistle Pig Farm. Yeah, see? It's, wow. I thought I had tried this stuff before because I do drink whiskey. I'm not, like I said, I'm not trained to be a taster, but I like drinking whiskey. First but I don't know if I've tried it. First, you with the cork. Don't want, to, don't, don't want to break cork, especially on this little guy. Uh, it's in from Vermont, actually. Maybe it'll taste like the syrup. <laughs> oh, that was a nice, nice Look little Look at the guy. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. Can I make last, sir? Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Here's hoping. That's <clears> not <throat> going to suck, I think. But it, It's the same amount, isn't it? It's 50 milliliters. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it just it's, looks like more. It does look like more. One, two, three, four, five. There's something... It, it feels like a flask. And it just feels right. You're pouring out... It's like, I'm pouring a drink. Not a little... Like, I'm sneaking a drink in my little plastic bottle. Yeah, man. Sorry. <laughs> it's like, this is the good stuff. Don't stiff me. Yeah, no, no. There you go. <laughs> uh, this... Does the full... Is the, is the full-size bottle the same shape? I think it is. I think it is. Oh, it yeah. definitely has the, the embellishment. I think it's got the it's got WP little, in got the glass. WP, but they did it... Like, if you're looking at the back of the bottle, it's backwards. backwards. So you see it correctly through the through the liquor, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Anytime you see that they've they've gone to the effort, you're like, okay, some effort was made. I can't wait to you know taste it. What are the nicest presentations I've seen on a whiskey bottle mini? Certainly, yes. Um, <laughs> wait to see the next one. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for this one. I am super excited. But yeah, for I'm this excited one. for the Whistle Pig. Um, it's from Vermont. I don't know anything about Vermont whiskeys. I don't think I've ever had a Vermont whiskey. I've probably had a Vermont whiskey and I wouldn't know it. Exactly. So, first of all, good color. It is a good color. Looking at the legs, good it's leg. uh, actually it doesn't seem that oily. So, no. it probably shouldn't burn. Oh, it geez. smells good off the cork. Oh, this, that's why these glasses are so nice. Because mm -hmm. it just funnels it right to your nose. That definitely smells more of alcohol than the cork. Did. Actually, yeah, there's there's oil. I, I guess I just didn't see it. Yeah. But. So right away, here's what we get: <clears throat> a very welcoming mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> baking. Sp I get baking spices. I get the you know cinnamon, sugar, vanilla, all that jazz. Yep. <clears throat> it's definitely I I, but it's it's definitely got a smooth 
mm-hmm. scent until you until the alcohol vapors hit your nose. I get orange peel. Yep. Um, not the not the oil from an orange peel, but the actual orange peel, like a candy orange peel. Would you say? Mm-hmm. Is it that sweet? Yeah, it's 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 definitely a sweeter smell. <clears throat> It's not like a sweet whiskey. It's just not like Raven's Lace <laughs> or that pecan. Uh, dude, you gotta let it go. <laughs> I'm never gonna let that stuff go. Uh, that stuff was that stuff was a sham. It owes me. Yeah, when when you're done watching this video, definitely check out the the, the previous review we did of uh, the mishmash because man, there was not truth in advertising. This, on the other hand. It's, it's, you know what? I don't smell whistles or pigs, so maybe there's no truth <laughs> in this advertising either. But it does, it smells hand bottled. Oh, yeah. It smells great. It smells like there was a cork in the box. It makes a huge difference. I have never seen it on the mini. Uh, manufacturers take note. If you if you cork the big bottle, cork the little bottle. Yeah. If your big bottle's made out of glass, make mm-hmm. your little bottle out of glass. This is not a. Uh, this is not one you find on an airplane. Oh, you know, the smells just changed for me. Yeah, a little bit of air. Yeah. Ooh. What do you get? Hmm. Definitely some vanilla. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you have the baking spices, it, but it's more. It's more apparent. Like before. The alcohols kind of the alcohol vapors have kind of lifted out of the bottle, and now I'm smelling more of the actual ingredients. Yep, and that's why it's nice. It's nice to take your time with this. It's not a, this is not a shooting whiskey. I can tell already. No, this, this is, is definitely this is, you enjoy the heck out of this. You enjoy it. Uh, this is one I would give to a friend. I can tell already. Uh, now I say that we haven't tasted it. We may taste it and be like, "Oh God, it's swill." <laughs> give it to the pigs. <laughs> give it to the pigs. <laughs> give it to the whistling pigs. But. As for a first presentation, a lot of the whiskey makers, they know this is what people do when they're approaching a new whiskey. Man, there's something very... It's comforting. It's like... I was just going to say that. It's very you comforting. Go to, you go to a movie theater and you get your popcorn and you get your snacks and like the the smell that comes off of... Like maybe warm red vines or something like that. Like just so are you saying there's anise in there? There's uh, something like it's that. It's not black yeah. licorice, that's for sure. No, it's not black licorice. Yeah, there it is. I, I smelled myself a little bit there to cleanse the, the nose, but um red red licorice, baking spices, citrus uh orange peel or, or some other citrus uh, peel there. And do you do you get like a I don't get a buttery cookie. I don't get any sort of crust or anything like that. No, definitely not. But I do get like maybe like a creamy sensation, like a sensation, almost how it hits my nose. It's very yeah. This is like this is uh, tantalizing and telling me, okay, we're about to take a journey. Yeah, not a journey of I'm going to test you, <laughs> <laughs> like certain whiskeys will do. This is more Jim of a beam. <laughs> this is more of a come with me. And you'll see. Don't 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 sue me. Uh, this is more of a Willy Wonka thing. All right, shall we? All right, sir. To uh, new friends, old friends, and everything in between. Oh come on! That's. It started off sweet, and as I swallowed it, it's it went into more of a more of a a, a spiced. Thing. Mm-hmm. Almost reminded me of like a hot a hot toddy. You ever had yeah. a hot toddy? Like yeah. a spiced hot toddy or a spiced rum. Spiced rum. But but not rum, obviously. Obviously not. But mm, the the oak flavor really came apparent. Oh yeah, definitely. You could taste the barrel. Um not in a bad way. Not in a bad way, no. No. It was a good Ooh. like I haven't said this about anything we've done in the last video or this video yet. This makes me want bread pudding. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. 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 This you know. would go really well with bread pudding because you'd get just, there's just a little bit of, because of the, the you know what? It's charred this oak. Tastes like this mm-hmm. and smelled like that pecan. Oh, crap. <laughs> It'd be like Christmas. Yes. Um, <laughs> you did, the charred oak on this, though, gives it what, unfortunately, a lot of peaty ones do. It overwhelms with the smoke. Yeah. This gives it that backbone of smoke. You're just like, yes. 
Yes, I'm getting getting nuance. different things, and yes, it, it allows for more stuff to be experienced. I felt like on that Isla mm-hmm. blend, that one didn't allow for much to be experienced. And apparently, they get worse than that. I don't think oh. I ever drink a straight Isla. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I just so now I'm getting a little sweet mixed in there, but the weirder thing is. It kind of makes me want a slice of pizza. Like a pizza with multiple toppings. Is that just because you're drinking it? No. <laughs> no, this isn't this isn't drunkies. Uh drunchies. <laughs> <laughs> drunchies. Mm. Mm. Definitely I, I'm getting the red like the red licorice. Yeah. And uh all the other notes we said. You know what I'm really excited to do with this one? What? Water. Oh yeah, yeah. Just a couple drops. Well, Hold that ready for it. No, but you think take a little bigger swig and see what what happens on the finish. Because sometimes that's totally different. Oh yeah, I got creamy all of a sudden. Like no, a I've been getting creamy soda. This, I've been getting creamy this whole time. I didn't until just now. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're taking bigger drinks or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna water you down a little bit, a little bit. It is very, it is we're doing very it oily. With our fingers, we the should The reason be why doing. you didn't see legs is because the whole thing was a leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, again, obviously, like I said, from the packaging alone, we're like, okay, someone took some time and care with this. They, they, they care about what we think. And it's evident because anytime you are discovering new things, you're like, hey, oh, hey, I just got this. It's not a one note, one note wonder. Um, one of my favorite whiskeys, Grainstone, no matter which cask it's finished in. Unfortunately, after 10 minutes, it's about one note, but that's okay because I drink it on the rocks. It's a Tuesday night whiskey. I like it. I'm not going for nuance and lever- layers and stuff. That being said. This- I feel like this is something you take and give it to somebody and share it with somebody that really enjoys exploring whiskey. Right. This is a housewarming present. This is a... Hey, great job Congr- graduating college or, or sorry for your loss. <laughs> I thought you were going to say graduating high school. No. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anywho, uh, with a little bit of water, what'd you get? It definitely got sweeter. I didn't smell it, actually. Interesting. It got sweeter. Mm-hmm. I got a little bit more cream. On the um, nose, did you get more burn? No. Okay. No, I really didn't get much more burn. In fact, I, I almost feel like I got less on that one. Hmm. But also, like, when I drink, every time I drink, I try to make sure I bathe my whole tongue because each taste buds tastes something different. He's learning. So, yep. uh, sometimes... You know, like it hits when it goes into my mouth, it hits a different spot than it hit before. So mm-hmm. the way I encounter the flavor changes. So also, and that's the same goes for the burn, the way I encounter the burn. If you hit it t- closer towards the back of your throat, then it's going to be horrible because it's going to hit the back of your throat. You're going to inhale it. And it's going to burn. Oh, interesting. I went ahead and kind of swished and then I, I, I pushed the roof of my, or pushed the, my tongue down. While I swallowed, mm-hmm. kind of went like, you know, like that. And suddenly I got super strong orange peel. Really? Yeah. And and more burn. I got more burn on it. So I think this is my last taste. So there you go. Uh, zigazaga, zigazaga. Oi, oi, oi. oi. <laughs> Try not to slam down my new Glen Cairns, please. <laughs> um, nothing new. Nothing new with the last gulp there. It definitely lets you know you're drinking alcohol. When I slam my tongue down, like you, like I don't, I don't know if I did it the way you did it. Mm-hmm. The burn became more intense. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I was just like, mm-hmm. "Okay, let's see, let's, let's see what that does." Grab your other glass. All right. Oh, so, I'm so excited for this one, guys. Okay. Now, I, I need to, you know, full disclosure, we filmed these episodes back to back. So, in one night, this is number eight. Okay. 
So we're, we're definitely enjoying ourselves and having a good time. Whew. To finish it off... Actually, I've been staying here for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so to finish it off, we were in the checkout at Total Line, and Rand looks over and says, Huh, look at that, and picks up this can of whiskey... Slow and low, 84 proof rock and rye. Yeah. And you gotta you gotta look at this picture. I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera. Yeah. Here. Well All I'm gonna right, put look up, at that. I'm gonna so, put up a pretty picture for him. Oh, okay. But I don't know. When I saw that, I thought it was like a coffee drink, you know? It like, does it totally looks like a coffee drink. She's smoking a cigarette. Yeah. She actually looks like she's smoking a dube. She does. She probably you know what? She's probably she's smoking a dube. Tell me that's not a J with her. I mean, this is Vegas, after all. Yeah. It's legal here, people. It's Hechstadter. So, uh, H-O-C-H-S-T-A-D-T-E-R, apostrophe S. So, Hochstathers. Oh, uh, 1884 established. I know. I wonder if they've been putting in an aluminum can since 1884. Probably not. <laughs> Did you know there's actually there was actually at a time where office buildings had iced whiskey machines? You could just walk up and get an iced whiskey in your You know... Cup. That sounds amazing. Bring I it think back. they should bring that back. <laughs> yep. On top of that, if anybody has one of those ice whiskey machines and they want to sell it, I right. am a collector of antiques. Cool ones. Not I'll beat you to death and take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh the one nice thing about the can is that it's it's more surface area for advertising, so we get a little more information. Read we it do. to us, Rand. So this is Union Made. So we know the guys that made this. Union made. You know. They were getting paid good money. Merka. I still have a feeling that, uh, you know, Monday whiskey tastes better than Friday whiskey. But, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're thinking about going out and partying, maybe you put a little... Maybe you put a little... Bit. I don't know. I mean, I... By trade, I was a mechanic for many years. And a car built on Monday was way better than a car built on Friday. I All always right. said... I wish they put what we did. It was put out of the factory. Actually, <laughs> actually, uh, if you're doing numbers matching, I believe certain vehicles they do. Maybe I've never seen one. You could get month. There's and a, you can get year. There's two different car shows on on uh, uh, Velocity <laughs> Channel on, on cable. One is um, what's it called Phantom Works, F A N T O M, which I think is no longer. They're making any new episodes. And uh, I've learned from them that there's some certain times where it's like, this was made on this day of the week, on this day, month, and this year. And also graveyard cars, which I can't stand. But uh, getting back to whiskey. All right. It's so, just nice to have more information. <laughs> this is a slow and low rock and rye. So we obviously are going to be experiencing right. a rye. I think everything else has been a bourbon, right? Well, no, the last one was rye. Was it? The okay. whistle pig was rye. Oh. Okay. And I I always thought I hated rye. Excuse me. I always thought I hated rye. What I hated was bad rye. And then I discovered Michter's rye, which is amazing and smooth. And I did a whole review of it. There's a link somewhere. And um, I am looking forward to this. And at the same time, trepidatious. But it's 84 proof. Yeah. So it's not going to be str as strong as some of the stuff we've had. Hopefully it's going to be smooth. What is that, 42%? Yeah, so it's, it's not the Is there any, any useful information like how it was finished or anything? So, where, where there's some, but I'm almost wondering if I should keep it a secret. Give me the damn can. <laughs> <laughs> i got to pour for you. All right. All right. You want me to read it? You want me to read it? Read, What's read it All right. Yeah. So it's straight rye whiskey. Mm-hmm. Raw honey, which I'm excited for. I didn't Ooh. taste raw honey in anything that we've had so far. All right. And now, you know, I've got a little bit of that aftertaste of the whistle pig. I maybe I'm feeling some raw honey in well, there. Well, make, sure make sure I'm you switch. Make sure you switch. I'm definitely going to switch before we drink this. Um, but navel orange. I, so I, I expect exactly the same orange peel. No, wait. Are they saying navel orange peel or navel orange? Well, they say actually it says navel orange and then there's no apostrophe and it goes right into rock candy. So. Which is where the rock and rye, I guess. That's where that rock comes from, guys. I'm trying to remember what rock candy tastes like. I don't either. I don't know. I was a single digit age. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a single digit age anymore. Oh, you too, huh? <laughs> How old are you? Although, my wife thinks I'm a single digit age. You know. How old are you? <laughs> How old are, you? Uh, are, you uh, are you over 30? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Way over 30. I, I don't. I couldn't remember. I'm how heading to my 40s. This makes it hard to gauge. Oh, really? Doesn't it? this makes it easy? To gauge. I'll tell you this. When I was slimmer, I looked older. But now that I'm COVID mm-hmm. fat, that's, COVID that's right. Fat. COVID fat. When I had hair to the middle of my back, I have a high forehead, so I would wear it back, and I would look older. Yeah, that's what my wife said. So <laughs> when I met my wife, I had just cut it actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you guys. But you guys don't care about this. Anyway. <laughs> COVID has got has been hell on the body. Where shape. Well, it's been hell on me because I've actually been working out and getting in better shape, and then I was a dummy and hurt my back on Tuesday. Time of recording it's Saturday and I'm still in pain. Yeah. So I'm enjoying this self medication. Ooh. That's that different. all it's a peel tab like the grape juices from Welch's. It is. Oh. It is. I was expecting a bonk and a bonk. It's a peel tab like a grape Holy juice. crap. I don't think I've done one of those in forever. I'm, That's cool. Why is that Why is that exciting? I don't know. Well, it's just, different. We just dated ourselves. <laughs> yeah. It's different, though. That's it's very different. Um. So, yeah. Here's... Oh, crap. Yeah. It's already... Here's what we got. It's, it's looking pretty clear, actually. It does look pretty clear. I better pour before I man- move it around too much. Oh, that, that, that's... I don't even know the count, like, how to count this. Yeah. How fast like... is it pouring? Oh, there's a lot in this there's can. A, that is not 50 milliliters. No, that is... That is... Where, where's it say? Extra steal... dry. Oh. I'm going to steal a little from you. Please. It says extra dry. You didn't tell me that. No, I didn't, I didn't see that. That's... Wait, are you pregnant? I am. It says... I love... Here's the tagline. Don't need no fixing. Drink straight up or with ice. Um, this is a hundred milliliters. This is twice as much. I love you, slow and low. I love you, Hawk Stotlers. Oh, why did I do that? Ooh, ooh. Oh boy. Oh no. I tasted it right. No, 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 no. You're gonna like this. Really? Okay. So everything we've had so far in this video. That's pretty much been. Ooh, I smell a little. I smelled orange, big time. You, yeah. Everything. I just smelled orange. So let me, let me prep this before you stick your nose in that. I made the mistake of tasting the little dregs. I shouldn't have done that, but here's the deal. Everything we've had so far has been bourbon. Various notes, but it's been bourbon. Well, the, you said the whistle pig was rye, but. No, no, but what I. Well, it's still a bourbon, a rye bourbon. Yeah, it's right. But what I mean is, it's been whis- It's just been, you know, whiskey. This is something special, I can tell already. Just from really like uh, touching my tongue to that little bit of extra that was on the can, like an idiot. Sir, prepare yourself. I will tell... Do you we- think this is going to be more of an adventure than Whistlepick? I think there's going to be an... I hope it's going to be more of an adventure. I hope it's not just going to end up being like a dessert whiskey or something. Mm-hmm. But either way, they cared. Yeah. And I tell you this, I would be happy to receive this. Well... Or give this. I will tell you one thing about this whiskey that the reason why we are doing this whiskey is because it came in a can. And when I noticed that the whiskey came in a can, I got really excited. Maybe a little loud because I am deaf in one ear. No. I'm like, hey, Josh, this whiskey's in a can. And I was like, that's either really good or really <laughs> bad. But I have high hopes for this. The guy on the other side of the aisle in the other checkout lane, because this was in the checkout. Oh yeah, yeah, he converted somebody. Yeah, <laughs> he's like someone else. Whiskey like, in a can. Yeah, he came on over and he grabbed a can. He's like, and then he was on the phone with his girlfriend. He's like, "Well, I'm just in a line buying whiskey in a can." <laughs> yeah, that's right, he was. So, you know, she's like, Excuse "I think me? for nothing else other than to be able to tell people you're talking to that you are in line buying whiskey mm. in a can." This I is would, a great purchase. I would cleanse your palate first if it hasn't already. Oh, remember, okay. What, I'm try I don't it. even remember how much this was. I think it was like three or four bucks. Four. It was like four. four. I think it was four. Yeah. 100 milliliters? Yeah. I'm I'm loving it. Da, 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 ba, ba, hum. I'm Sir? I'm loving it. It's the McDonald's of whiskey. <laughs> to the new and the unexplored. Oh, yes. Oh, orange. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they were right. Navel orange. Not the peel. Nope. Navel orange all the day. It's like I just... A bit into a navel orange. Mm-hmm. Uh, honey, for sure. Yeah, definitely the honey. I can smell it. I love when they're accurate. I love when they're accurate. Yeah, there was there was no question I don't get, about I don't the honey get, or the I don't orange. get barrel. I don't get oak. No. This may, I, like I said, this may be a dessert whiskey. 
Yeah, I think it is. I, which would be surprising for a rye, and I, I wasn't expecting it. But then again, we'll, we'll see what we taste. You realize it. we're drinking twice as much as any other whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope we got, like it. <laughs> we've got a lot to get through. I mean, that's about how much you would drink of a dessert whiskey. But we shot both of these videos back to back. So I have already uh, drank in a lot of dessert whiskey. Drinking? Drinking. Wow. College educated, ladies and gentlemen. I am, actually. So am I. Going for my master's degree. Well, I'll, I'll be done here in about two or three months. I that. think I think this <laughs> I think this whiskey perfectly sums up my shirt. I like my whiskey straight. My friends can go either way. This I don't know where this is going. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> um Oh, it is just yummy. It is. It tastes. It, it's. 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 It tastes good to my nose. I would not want this with a steak. I would not want this with savory. No. I don't even know if I would want this with like bread put with with. I don't think. Dessert. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think this is one of those. This is like a almost like a cognac where it's just like you don't drink it with anything. I think they were right on the can where they're like drink it straight or on the, on the rice. rice. Yeah, yeah, because cold, it'll mute the highs and lows. Yep. And this almost seems like it might be too sweet because honey, as you know, can sometimes be a little too much. But uh, we haven't tasted it yet. Ooh, shall we? You got a good toast? Mm, I don't have a good toast. May the road rise up to meet you and the wind be at your back. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. I, it is not just a dessert whiskey. No. So a little warm. Okay. It's warm. It's, it's warm. A little yeah. burn at the front, but the yeah. front, the burn is actually at the top, at the back. Yeah. I, I don't really, I don't really have a burn. I took a very small sip. I don't really have a burn. Um, it was weird. It was like it was sweet and then burn, which you don't normally get. Uh, at least I don't normally get. Um, I don't have, a, I don't have a burn. So uh, we we get orange. We get. You know, I, I get honey. Tons of orange. The honey cuts the orange, like the bitterness of the mm -hmm. orange. So it's almost like an orange soft drink in a way. Okay, tasting it, I do get to orange peel. Yeah. I get I, I do get uh baking spices, but much more muted on the well, not so much muted on the baking spices, but overwhelmed by the navel orange. Um it's good that they advertised it. Because if they had said this was just a rye whiskey, this would be like weird. Yeah, it would be. Ooh, it's just still this is Okay, a yeah, I get that finish. burn at the end, yeah. Bear in mind, we've recorded a separate video and this one. This is our eighth whiskey in the space of 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Believe it or not. No, it's been like an hour. Oh, okay. Well, 60 minutes. Okay. Regardless, this is the way to finish. I mean, the color is just a golden amber or no, there's a little red. Uh, I see orange in it. Almost a rosé. Mm. But yeah, no. Yes. The color is orange. The color is orange. Which is appropriate. Yeah. It's 100%. Like, mm. you put a mosquito in there and you got the Jurassic Park thing. You know? <laughs> That's you Amber, sir. That's Amber. You're going to extract some um, dinosaur if you want, If you want just a, a whiskey, a rye whiskey or whiskey, this is not for you. No. This is sweet. This, I will say this is a dessert whiskey. But a dessert rye whiskey, it's worthy of note. In a can? So you... I, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. No, no, not so far. Of of the four we've done today, okay. Looking back at the bottles, what's your favorite think, of the four for this? I think my favorite is the whistle pig. Whistle pig for if you just want to yeah. drink. Yeah, if, if you, you want to drink, where you're just going to share that with a friend mm -hmm. and enjoy a good whiskey, mm -hmm. whistle pig by all means. But if you want to celebrate something. And bring a sweetness to an end of a great meal that, you know, maybe not everybody's into pie or cake or whatever. This is a aperitif. This is it. This is your, yes. Well, you don't have to eat with it. You just, this is a, oh, oh, you know what? An aperitif is designed to settle your food. Mm -hmm. Boom. It's sweet, but not cloying. It's yummy. It, it makes me want to keep drinking it. I would love it on the rocks. I wonder what water will do to it. I am curious. You are curious, sir. And again, if you have you ever had any whiskeys in a can, hit me up in the comments. 
this channel definitely is better when you guys actually comment and respond uh, as opposed to me just guessing what what it is you want. Smash the like button while you're at it. All right. I'm gonna try the smell now that I got some water in it. It's a, I only put a couple drops though, and there's a lot more whiskey in here. Oh, bro. <laughs> Taste it. Uh, sw sw swish and, and taste. Swish and taste. And, and suddenly, it's almost like a creamsicle. Yeah. It's almost like a creamsicle, but a creamsicle with burn. <laughs> Can you make the creamsicle alcoholic? That'd be great. <laughs> I'm, yeah. You know, oh, the aftertaste is super sweet. It's better with water. Mm hmm. Not always the case. Um, the aftertaste is super It's not sweet diminished with water no. at all. Um, I almost, I want to put it on rocks. I want to put it on the rocks. Um, this and is... The ice machine's right there. I know the ice machine's right there, but I, I'm not going to put a rock in the Glen Cairn. That's just vicious and cruel. But got these. I'd be happy to buy a bottle of this. This and the Whistle Pig. Yep. Of the eight we've done over two videos, those are my two tops. There is a time and place for this, but mm -hmm. it is great. Yes. The whistle pig, anytime, any place, except for while you're driving. Mm -hmm. This tells me, I'm I, hey, I'm celebrating something. The whistle pig is, I'm dealing with life. <laughs> <laughs> the whistle pig is, is, I want to enjoy a fine whiskey that or, I can spend or, it's a Tuesday whole night. bunch of it, money. It's on. Tuesday night, and I need to get through the rest of the week. <laughs> I want some whistle pig. This is, it's Friday night, or Saturday night, in our case, time of recording. Hmm. It's Saturday night, and I'm having, I'm hanging with friends. <clears throat> oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. I don't know. Do you think this, I feel like Whistlepig would be more of a Saturday night hanging with friends. I really feel like this is a special occasion whiskey. More. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely in the dessert, dessert like, category. This is if you eat Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and you don't want the pumpkin pie. Okay. Previous video. If you've watched it, you know that Raven's Lace lied to us. It said it was a, a whiskey, and it definitely was not. This is a this is something that's sweet, and, and at the same time... It's exactly what it said. It's definitely whiskey. I'm so glad we read the can. Yeah. Because, I mean, I... I, I would have been shocked, but I would have been pleasantly shocked. I, well, I, I we would have picked up the can and been like, huh. Yeah. And then, yep, there it is. I would have um, been pleasantly shocked. That's why I was wondering if I should read the instruction, the, the, the stuff out to him, you know? A whiskey, a whiskey with instructions. <laughs> there you go. The instructions. The instructions on how it was made. Noise. Noise. The destructions. Um, what's really weird is we're sitting, I'm looking at a, a bowl full of fruit, like nectarines and apples and uh, tomatoes and uh, grapefruit. None of those are in this. Oh, there's a plum. But none of those are in this particular whiskey. So, um, yeah. Of these four, number one, whistle pig. Yeah, I think overall, 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 whistle pig. Yep. Like if I just wanted a whiskey, number for a two, whiskey, which I like whiskeys. Yeah, number two is the Hawk Stoppler uh, whiskey in a can, which yep. I mean, so first of all, we were we were not expecting a hundred milliliters. Second of all, surprising depth to a dessert whiskey. Yeah, and yep. then number three, two star, two star for sure. I mean, yeah. two star. I would almost almost say tied with with whistle pig, but whistle pig's got more. Chutzpah, more depth. Yeah, Whistle Pig, like I said, compared to Two Star, Whistle Pig is, is where you share that with a friend. You're like, hey, mm -hmm. you want a really good whiskey that has a, an adventurous flavor? Like Josh said, we're yep. going to take an adventure. Two Star is definitely a Tuesday whiskey. Tuesday night whiskey. Yeah. It's definitely just a, I want a whiskey. I want a whiskey. And Colonel Lane, you could even shoot Two Star. You could, but I feel like it would be a waste. Two, Colonel Lee, on the other hand, shoot it, just shoot it, just shoot it. Or just don't buy it. Or just don't buy it. But, it, but if your bar has it, tell them I want a shot of that. No, don't tell them I want a shot of that. Tell them you want a shot of what you like. I'll bet it's a lot cheaper than Jack. It probably is, but I like shooting Jack. I mean, you know there are people that go to a bar and like shoot freaking, you know, Jim Beam and more expensive whiskeys. Ooh, Jim Beam's gross. But if it's a shot, eh. I mean, I've gone to whiskey bars and shot more expensive whiskeys, but I don't actually shoot them. <laughs> but, yeah. What do you think? You want I digress. To... I do shoot Jack. I like to shoot Jack. Oh. Jack right. and me are good long friends. I like single right. barrel. I like gentlemen. I like regular old number seven. 
I'm not a fan of any of the Jacks, to be honest. Gentleman Jack was as close as I got, because he's a gentleman. Try the single pair. Eh. It's better than the gentleman. Almost, we almost got it. It's better than the gentleman. But I digress. We're going to go ahead and sign off. We're going to finish this. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Remember to stay amazing. Remember to be awesome and uh, stay Wow, strong. I got zero burn on that last one. Good for you. I was talking. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you want to subscribe, click down here. Ring the bell. You know what to do. Really appreciate you watching. Please, please drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite whiskey is for just Tuesday night or, or whatever for celebrating. And in the meantime, remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-bum. -ba -ba